So I am by no means a chef or a master in the kitchen. By no means at all. But I do like using somewhat good, I think good, you know, at least better than the stuff that I'm, I, I normally use, products, gear, things in the kitchen that make things easier, right? Because if you're like me, one of the frustrations of cooking is having cooking utensils, I guess, pots and pans and appliances and th knives and whatever that aren't up to the task. And because they end up making meal preparation harder, you and I just end up ordering out. We just end up going out for dinner because we're just like, I don't want to go through the aggravation. I don't want to go through the hassle. Uh, it's, it's, I'm going to end up burning my food or butchering it when I'm trying to cut it. And I get that because I'm definitely that person as well. I just need an excuse is what I need. A couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, these folks here, Moss Fiata, I think that's how you pronounce it, actually ended up sending me uh, one knife, which I really liked. And it was this one here, which is the eight inch super sharp professional chef's knife. I really, really liked it. Uh, then they sent me this one, the Nakiri knife. And I'll be completely honest with you. Like at, at the beginning, again, I'm not a knife connoisseur. I'm not a professional knife user. I'm not a, a chef that makes money doing cooking. Um, but these knives, these two knives have outdone, uh, outperformed. I've used them for like one or two, actually probably more than two years now. And they are still the knife that or knives that I will always go to whenever I am cutting meat or I think the Nakiri one is designed for cutting like vegetables and things like that. Anyways, they're the two knives that I will always go and get unless of course they're dirty or in the washer or whatever it is, right? But they're by far my go-to knives. Now, the bonus is that Mos Fiora sent me this and I believe it's just their triple pack, which is kind of cool because right now, Basically, it's $99, and I, again, I don't know if it'll have this coupon on it when you guys go look. Uh, $40 off brings it to $59, which means for the price of the one blade, which you get in here, you get the other two for nothing. Yes, please. Oh, yes. So we're going to take a look at this kit. Um, and, and you know what, I'm not going to go upstairs and be like, look how good it cuts because you can go watch the other videos and, and, and I'll be honest with you, you're taking my word for it because how do you test a, a knife and really almost all knives when they come out of the box are at their ultimate performance. Um, my word is that I've been using these for years. I have not sharpened them. And again, I don't, I don't use them daily. I'm not a daily, you know, cooker guy, but, um, Super happy, super happy, super happy with these. So let's crack open the box and uh, see see what see what's in the three pack. Okay, doki. So you're getting, in my opinion, again, I'm not a professional, uh, a pretty professional um, knife set. Now, let's let's say this how it is, right? If you are someone that is cooking on Hell's Kitchen, are you going to be using these? My guess is probably not. Are you going to be spending a uh, hundred bucks on a set of three knives? No, you're probably spending a couple hundred dollars on a single knife. Is it better? Yeah, I'm guessing. I hope so. Um, but it's that, what is that rule that the, the, the rate of return, you know, once you get up to a certain quality, let's say 80%, that that next 10 or 20%, you pay 80% more for that extra 10%, right? Is that important for some? Yeah, if you're a professional, I get it. I'm not, which is why uh, these are knives that we got from Amazon. Amazon knives, right? Yeah. Are they good? I think so. I like them. Anyways, I'm going to open this box, which yes, you get a sweet, a sweet box. 
And uh, I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna put the black black thing there and we will just lay things on this part, okay? So these are just foam pieces, which are not important. You do get the knife care and maintenance instructions, which is cool because what's also cool with them is I believe these ones do, yes, uh, they come with a knife sharpener. So uh, I could sharpen my knives, I just haven't. And they come with a, a finger protector, knuckle protector, for those of you that are which I don't go that fast, but you know, I could, I could, I'm at that level, I think. No, nope, not at all. Um, these, this box here is all the sheaths. Yes, yeah, so it is the right one. So this is the box of sheaths, sheaths, sheaths. Yep. Uh, you get a little microfiber cloth that you can clean your knives with to make sure they look all snazzy professional. It says Mas Fiata on it. Yes, mm -hmm. this, this is your knife sharpener. And this one's nice because it actually has the two different, and I'm guessing, I'm hoping in the instructions, they're gonna tell you kind of which one is for which knife, is my hope. But again, it works good. It's got a nice little like a rubbery traction pad on the bottom. So when it's down on the table, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Last but not least, you get, outside of the knives, this is your this is your finger protector. So when you're at high speed, like myself, mm -hmm, high speed, you put one of these on. I don't even know which way it goes on because that's how unprofessional I am. I'm guessing it's that way, like that. So that when it's down, when you're down here, you can just, sh 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 sh, right? So you put your knife, pretend this was a knife, you would just be like, okay, and slice, 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 slice. And see how I went up top? I'd cut off my fingers, not the tips, right? I'd cut them right off above the knuckle, which would suck a lot. But I'm guessing if you knew what you were doing, you would, you would use this. Have I ever used it? Yeah, just to try it out. It is cool. I, I'm not at, I'm not at that level though, right? All right, last but not least, you get the knives. And this one here is the eight inch, and I'm not gonna play with these too much because I'll end up cutting myself and hurting myself. I do love the little design on it. I don't know if that design is supposed to represent anything or anything like that, but it's cool. To, to begin, they do have the little blade protectors on them. So again, you will wanna take those off because I don't even think you can get them in the sheaths with that on. So, off, off. Look at that though, look at that shine. Even, like it's, I believe, I believe as far as I know, the metal goes all the way through the hilt, which is cool, cause you can, right? And they're, they're a good, fairly weighty knife, which I like. And, so that you don't hurt yourself, Oh yeah, that's the sweetness. Okay, let's put that one up there. Then we have this one, which we we had before. This is the, the what is it called? The Nakiri, N Nakiri. And I think this one is more designed for vegetables, right? It's kind of, to me, has that kind of Asian-y background, which I'm thinking, you know, all your stir fry type stuff. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but I, again, love the style. It's got that same kind of design on it. Same little protectors. We'll just do that. But that's a good looking knife, right? Ping, yep. And same thing. Got a sheath. Just to make sure that goes in there nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. That is, that is the goodness right there. And then lastly, oh... Did, where did my sheath go? I was like, where did my sheath? We have this one. And I don't even know what this one is. This is a, um, maybe it's just a kitchen knife. Maybe it's like a, a like a sample. Do they tell me what kind of knife this is? Because it looks kind of like that one. My guess is it'll tell me when I go in here. So, uh, it's a knife set. Three eight inch chef's knife, a seven inch Nakiri knife, and a five inch utility knife. All right, so I guess you'd use this for utilitarian stuff. Yes, yep. And again, all the way through the hilt. Very nice, 
Lovely, lovely, lovely. And sheath. Um, you can keep this if you want to have them on display and in a box that you only bring them out once in a while. But ours are in a drawer because we use them all the time. Uh, I can't tell you enough good things about it. These are by far the best knives I've used. Not to say that I've used high-end professional knives, but I have bought some other knives in my past and uh these are still the nicest knives i've used so uh the fact that right now normally 99 bucks here in canada you can get them for like 59 dollars with a coupon hopefully the coupon is still there when you guys go take a look at this um but get it if you're looking at some knives and you're like a home user like me or a hobbyist and someone that just likes playing around with food maybe you don't have any good knives get some good knives and these ones won't break the bank, which is awesome. All right, my friends, I'll put links down below. You guys can go take a look at these and uh, you can buy them as the pack. They also have a bigger pack. I think they have a five pack as well for a little bit more, like 20 bucks more. Um, and uh, that's all. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. And I'm going to go upstairs and order myself some takeout. No, <laughs> maybe, maybe.